we have a large student population, but we also have a large overseas students population that yeah. makes a big difference for travel, even money like the Chi Chinese coins and that as well. Yeah, yeah money gram, even parcel force when they send documents abroad. Yeah. Um, to actually opportunity like the current accounts and perhaps because you know in the future they're going to be the ones that are earning with decent jobs mm -hmm. they'll be able to go onto mortgages and it's just how to, how the way of perhaps getting in there you're absolutely right travel money and uh parcel force uh, or pre just the premium mail stuff for students sending stuff home whether it's abroad or whether it's it, it's it's within the uk but home to parents whether it, you know important documents or whatever uh, we can really really do well and uh, we would be keen, the business would be keen to support, I know Fres would be really keen to support you doing that in a university from a, from a travel perspective yeah. and clearly that's got a knock on then, not just for travel money, you know, because you've talked about money ground and there's, there's a, a, quite a range of products there. Broadband as well. Do, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah absolutely. We, when my daughter went to uni there was not much choice really because they're only there for nine months. Yeah. Virgin Media did a nine month package. That's right. So and the that only was people that do yeah, other than other than us yeah. who have no contract. We did. Yeah. 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 There's no point in doing it for a year because they're not there. They're not there. Whether it's profitable you know. to deal with students, I don't know. <laughs> well, that was the point from a, from a current <laughs> account perspective, <laughs> Keith. Having being in the unfortunate position of just having put one child through university and now putting another one through university, <laughs> they leech money, uh, and <laughs> and those of you that have got te yet yeah, teenage kids will know, um, and. Um, my, certainly my son and um, now my daughter, their current accounts with their bank were just constantly at the limit of their overdrafts. Uh, the, uni the, the banks provide overdrafts for students on exactly the base you've talked about, that they hope that actually that's a hook, that once you've, if you have an account when you're a student, you'll, you're probably going to keep it for quite a while, if not forever, once, once you graduate. And hopefully you graduate to a job that gives you a decent salary, etc. But I think it's I think it's just it's more than that in that if I never worked for the post office I've only been in the post office six years then I really wouldn't have gone to the post. No, I think you're I think you're on a different work a different well. thing there, Keith. I think you're absolutely spot on. And it's how, how we can tap into the future. How do we tap into younger people, whether they're at university or not? How do we tap into younger people? But that's who, our problem. It's the yeah. footfall is the problem at the moment. It's yeah. a massive drops. Yeah. And if we don't address the footfall problem. We're just going to carry on either leaking money or losing jobs. There's an interesting, an interesting dilemma for the business here, I think, which is it, from a, from a, purely from a, a very selfish crown perspective, do we really want massive footfall or do we want steady footfall that's profitable for us? Um, because if you're a sub-postmaster, then I think what you want is you want lots of very quick so high volume, but potentially low value transactions because you make more money by having customers come in and they buy something else while they're there, whether it's sweets or bread and milk or whatever it is. We are, offering, we are operating in a slightly different world, uh, which is why things like financial services and telephony uh, are so important to us and the potential growth in government services because we need probably this level of people we've got now, customers we've got now, but doing more valuable transactions. Because if we get hit with lots and lots of high volume, but potentially low value, we just have a very expensive resource to try and manage that.